just because you move into a different physical place doesn't mean you get to run away from your problems and not face them because eventually they're going to come back anyway. Once you work on yourself and sit with yourself and really ask what your intention is, is it coming from a place of fear or is it coming from a place of love, then you can get that next step forward. Hi loves and welcome back or welcome I did that backwards. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the mental changes I had to make to get to where I am now as requested by a dear soul family. So I appreciate you asking and sharing your feedback on what you want to learn more about for this channel. Um, I had to go through a lot of rock bottoms to get to where I am now. And as a healer, as an artist, as a person who just really loves to grow and learn and, and be a better person and become better than I was the day before, it takes a lot of rock bottoms and also a lot of highs and a lot of in-betweens to be able to understand and to experience how to understand where I am mentally, emotionally, physically. And so whenever I tell this story of how far I've come and what I've done and what changes I had to do, just know that it took a lot of experimentation and exploration and really putting in the willingness to understand myself and to understand the changes that I had to make and I actually had to take action on and to get to whatever it is that I wanted to create and manifest for myself. So an example that I have that was requested by somebody was to understand how I got to a point of where I got to move or like how I got to move out of Las Vegas, which was my home for 23 years. And I really just up and Adam left and moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. So let me tell you that it wasn't an overnight decision, <laughs> although it did seem like I did just move overnight. Um, and whenever I was feeling lost and undoubtful and really just not knowing why, I also had that trust and that internal belief that this is something that I had to do for my next step on my journey with that intention to grow and to heal and to expand. And that was a really big shift that I had to create for myself is that just having that belief in the first place of believing and trusting that this is what I felt like I needed to do. And there was a lot of resistance at first. Like, I mean, at first I thought I was gonna move to Atlanta, but the more I visited Charlotte through those months that I was in Atlanta, because I visited Charlotte every weekend um, when I was in Atlanta, I would road trip every there because I was um, visiting a dear friend who was my partner at my time, or my time at the time. <laughs> and just really letting myself experience the city and sit into my intuition and, and follow that intuition of like, no, actually Atlanta was only supposed to be for a few months and you're supposed to be in Charlotte because you're vibing with Charlotte right now. So really sitting with what's in front of me and sitting with what I've experienced, sitting what I feel from the experiences, knowing that if I feel like a heavy feeling from something that I've experienced, it's a sign. And it's up to me of whatever I choose to do to move forward with how I experienced and felt through that. And so when I decided to move to Charlotte, I honestly did not know how I was gonna pay for everything. I don't know where I was gonna live. Like I came here without a place to stay um, in terms of living. I mean, I, I got to crash at my friend's place, but it was one of those things that I knew it was gonna unfold and it was all coming back to that trust of like, I trusted that it was all gonna unfold and it was all gonna happen. And I also trusted that whatever was meant for me, that it was gonna unfold. Um, easily and effortlessly. So when I got this apartment that I'm recording this video in now, I got it within a week of landing here, bringing all my stuff here in an SUV rental car, which costs like a thousand dollars, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, oh, three day rental for cross country. Yeah, that was about a thousand dollars, plus including gas. That's another story. Um, 
but yeah, it, it was something that I had to really believe in and really trust myself in. And when I made the decision to move out of Las Vegas, I definitely had a lot of feeling that I was trying to escape. Like I, I felt like I was trying to get away from something and just leave and escape the pain and the trauma that I experienced in the city. However, I had to shift my mindset and set my intention to really expand and grow and not leave Vegas from a place of fear, but from a place of excitement and just letting myself flourish and letting myself grow. So if you are in that point in your life where you want to do something and you really want to make a change or you want to move or you want to just let yourself take yourself into a new place in life, um, ask yourself, what is your intention? And really sit with yourself and be honest with yourself of if you are trying to escape a certain emotion, a certain feeling, a certain person. Because really, even if you move into a different city or you move into a different place, whatever it is that you experience in yourself is still going to be in yourself, <laughs> like in your field. Um, just because you move into a different physical place doesn't mean you get to run away from your problems and not face them because eventually they're going to come back anyway. And that's something that has been happening a lot ever since I moved here. I had a lot of patterns that were brought up with the relationships that I have here um, and the relationship that I have with myself. Like for me, I am still working on my emotional heat, heating, emotional eating. Um, I'm still working on loving myself every day. Like I, I definitely have moments where I love myself and I have moments where I don't love myself. And so really embracing both of those experiences and knowing and trusting that every time I work on loving myself more and being alone with myself because I live by myself here, then it's allowing me to build that stronger foundation for whatever is coming into my field because I know and trust that there's so much abundance that's already here first and foremost, but it's also already coming and still coming. And Abundance comes in many forms. It could be material, it can be financial, it can be relationships, energetic. It's just really being open and not expecting anything was also another thing I had to change within myself and to shift within myself because a pattern that I've noticed within myself is that I tend to fantasize a lot, like a lot. Uh, I mean, I am a visionary, so I have a lot of vision. Um, but really bringing myself down into this earth plane and recognizing like, okay, this is what I have. This is how I can be resourceful and thinking of creative ways to be resourceful, but also stepping out of my comfort zone. And one example of that is that I choose not to have Wi-Fi and I choose to not have a car. <laughs> and it's really, really testing me on how I can be resourceful and how can I could be more um, budgeting with my finances and be more frugal with my finances because we all have a choice when it comes to what we spend our money on. Um, I definitely have moments where I've thought about buying a car and then I had to sit with myself and really ask, okay, what is my intention with having a car? Is it because I just want to escape from my apartment and go out to places? Or is it because um, I want to make money with Uber? Because fun fact, I would drive Uber in Atlanta and that's how I would make money when I was over there for those two months. And also that's why I was able to drive a Tesla. Um, but that's another video for another day if that's something that you want to learn more about. But overall, I just wanted to, if you wanted to just take one thing away from this, I just wanted to share that it's not an overnight process. I've had to make a lot of mental changes to get to where I am now. And it's all about mindset, really. And I'm still human, still working on things every day, still working on shifting my mindset and perspectives on different things every day. And the whole point of me being here and the whole intention of being here is that so I can actually practice and let go and shift 
in these mindsets and then I can be able to share them with you and learn and teach what I have learned. And this YouTube journey that I am focusing on is something that I've always wanted to do and I feel like I've always been distracting myself from really letting myself take that action and to become and embody a YouTuber. And so not having a car is forcing me to really be here and to make these videos for you. <laughs> and also it's been really great to, to just document where I am in my journey. And so I intended this to be a short version. Um, I really don't know how long I recorded this video for, but I really want to get into more detail of exactly how I changed those mindsets and those mental, how I did those mental changes in a future video. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. Please comment below or share or, or let me know on Instagram. I keep burping. And to me, burping means that I'm letting go of a lot of <laughs> throat chakra blockages. Um, so if there is anything that I want you to take away from this video, it's to understand that it's a long process and to be patient and to take your time. And know it's about the internal work. Once you do the internal work, that's the foundation that you can create for yourself to let you flourish and blossom into these changes and to your next step and to receive that clarity of where you can go next. Because once you work on yourself and sit with yourself um, and really ask what your intention is, is it coming from a place of fear or is it coming from a place of love, then you can get that next step forward. And if you need help finding that next step, I am happy to chat um, over a call definitely have been thinking of opening up my one-on-one -on -one consulting again. So I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to my story. And I hope you got something out of this because I am really here just to share my story, to inspire you, to do the inner work, create a life that you want to live and connect with beautiful people who are here to expand the world and expand collective consciousness by sharing our authentic truth. So until next time, I love you and I am grateful for you. Bye loves. Everything from the past affects how you are today. What you've learned from your family, your family learned it from their family, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so the cycle keeps on repeating until you make the decision to do something about it. If, if that's something that you don't wanna continue.